I'm at Dances with Films. I'm with yeah. Christian Larson, uh, writer, director, producer of Lore. And Brock Manuel, writer, producer, director of Lore. Okay, so I know you've been saying this a lot, but what is your film about? Yeah, our, our film is about, um, it's, a, it's a psychological or suspense thriller. It's about an estranged husband and wife whose son has gone missing. He was on a camping trip. And the authorities have given up the search. And the, the wife especially is convinced that he's still up in the mountains where he was camping. So she convinces her estranged husband, we're going to go find him. And with the help of a Native American friend who is more familiar with the area, they go searching for their son up in this remote wilderness. And uh, strange things start to happen, uh, you know, to the point where they're being uh, hunted and haunted by a malevolent force. And uh, it has to do with the local Native American legends of, of, of the area. And uh, so it becomes a fight for, you know, survival and insanity. <laughs> so at, at what point is this, uh, does the genesis of this movie uh, happen? Uh, the genesis of this movie um, came about through, our, first, our love of uh, scary movies and thrillers and these types of movies. And then, uh, secondly, um, you know, just the desire to, uh, you know, try our hand at that, you know, to, to do one of these stories on our own. And, uh, and you know, some of the things that inspired us, like Brock mentioned, are the, the local, uh, these local legends. Um, you know, they're not just in the movie, but they're real. They're real local legends that uh, um, the Native American uh, tribes of the Great region have and um, another inspiration uh, for us on and genesis of this story was the um, the location itself um, you know we shot this in southeastern Idaho uh, near uh, a town called Paris which is a couple hundred people um, big I guess as far as population but uh, yeah just um, uh, you know the, the the mountains themselves were uh, uh, an inspiration and uh, and and we thought to ourselves this would make a great place to tell a scary story Story. And so that's uh, that's how it, lore kind of came to be. So, so you had location and then decided to build a story around it? Uh, kind of story first and then we, f we, we knew the location, but story was the main, was the driving factor and, and we just happened to have the location in our back pocket. We thought it would be the perfect place to do it. So, okay. so uh, this is a thriller. It's a very specific genre. Yeah. Uh, what, what are kind of the rules of writing a thriller? I th well, I was be, be scary, <laughs> build suspense. Um, but I, I also think that um, there are no rules in a, in a sense with, with movies like this, especially with what you can do thematically and the things that you can explore. But yeah, to me, the, the number one rule with, with, with any movie, and especially a scary movie, is it better be scary and it, it better keep you know keep you engaged. If you're, if you're reading the script, it better keep you turning the pages. I, th I think for me too, one of the things that we, we really were conscious of and, and tried uh, was that uh, we tried to follow the rule of less is more. And with thrillers and with you know suspense, so much uh, of the time it's what you don't see and what you don't hear, and it's the it's the space in between, you know the uh, you know the the typical kind of jump scares, if you will. That you know if you can really expound on those moments, that's where you really have people's minds kind of turning and working and what's happening and what's what's around the corner. And so uh, you know in, in that regard, we tried to really um, you know not be too on the nose, but you know. Let uh, let all of our moments really breathe, and let people kind of uh, uh, anticipate, and uh, you know, kind of come to some of their own uh, you know guesses as to what might be around the corner. So, so your film is primarily outdoors, uh, which is it, it appears like it's a it, it you're inviting more complication than you would on a on a regular film. Yes, <laughs> yeah. In fact. Uh, you know that's a great question. Um, <laughs> we uh, we did. We invited a lot more complication. We had a couple of days where we got uh, rained out with thunder and lightning. But you know we we knew we wanted to tell the story in this location and take people. Again, you know the point of a movie is to be entertaining, and we knew we wanted to show people. Uh, you know things they hadn't seen before and you know it, it's there's there's definitely um, people that can make a scary movie in a, in a one-room location I think uh, are uh, you know super amazing talented people that can do that uh, we, we've really leaned on our location to give us a little more uh, a, a little more cinematic quality so yeah so what are what, what's what's the advice you would give to a, a filmmaker who thinks, hey, I'm I'm going to make my film. We're going to do it in the woods. 
if, if you're going to shoot 95% of it outdoors, uh, you might want to give yourself more than two extra days uh, for, for weather, which we did not do. And we really walk, walked a razor's edge of uh, running out of days. So yeah, give yourself plenty of time for the rain and the, the, the other weather that might come up and, and cause you, you know, to lose days. And I would imagine there's a, a lot of uh, improvisation and guerrilla filmmaking that you had to do while filming outdoors? Yeah, I mean, you block out a scene as best you can, and then you get there, and you get looking at the terrain, and you look at the gear you brought up, and the the camera, and you, you look at your DP, and you you have to come up with solutions for sure, because not everything goes according to plan, and um, we, ha we did ha actually have some uh, twisted ankles, and you know, scraped hands, and uh, it was uh, it was rough terrain for sure. So we had to we we that's a good way to put it. A guerrilla filmmaking, a little bit of in, improv as far as how are we going to capture these shots in this terrain. So not, not to mention some oxygen tanks because we were at 9,000 feet for the last four days. So uh, some of our more experienced cast members were uh, struggling with that altitude, uh, understandably. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. So um, what is the uh, outside of? For, for, uh, other than what we've already discussed, what's the uh, one lesson learned from this production that you could pass on to other filmmakers? Mm. One lesson learned. Keep, keep your crew as lean as possible. <laughs> and uh, give yourself the extra days for, for weather. What else? Keep your crew as happy as possible. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, kind of to echo what Brock said, just give yourself, uh, you know, plenty of, uh, plenty of padding there. And, um, and also, the, I think probably, you know, kind of backing up a little bit, the biggest advice I'd give to other filmmakers is, you know, your script is everything and your story has to be bulletproof. And don't go shoot. We, we did find ourselves in some rewrite situations, you know, live on set. And I would say uh, if I could do it over again, that would be advice I'd give myself is to, to really make sure the script is bulletproof. So uh, that would be the advice I would give to myself. Therefore, I'd give to other filmmakers is, you know, make sure that you have your story, uh, you know, story, story, story. Make sure you have it down. So. All right. So how can we find out more about uh, about lore? So the premieres tonight at 9.30, Tuesday, uh, June 6th. <laughs> I mean, that's the first thing. Um, you can go to, uh, we've got a, a social media. Um, yeah, uh, so Facebook page is uh, facebook.com slash lorefilm. Um, there's a lore Instagram at lorefilm. And uh, website is almost up as well for our production company, uh, folklorefilms.net. All right, well, congratulations. Yep. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. That was great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right. What was your name again?